Excuse me, just a moment. Quiet, quiet, please, everyone. I called you all here for a reason today. I'd like for you to meet a former Middlefield student and the world-famous conductor of tonight's very, very important fundraising benefit, Maestro Sherman Renfield. Maestro Renfield, Nikki Watson, the second cello. I am so thrilled to be playing for you tonight. <laughs> I'm delighted, Miss Watson. No, may, may I have my hand back? And allow me to introduce you to my first cellist, my granddaughter, Vanessa. Hi. 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 Oh, Nikki, I was hoping that you would help Vanessa with the setup for tonight's concert. Maestro Renfield is very particular about his podium placement. Well, you know, Miss Kilman, those podiums are awfully heavy. Um, Vanessa might want somebody, you know, of muscular build to help her carry him over there, you know. Absolutely. McBain, would you mind? No, not at all. No, actually, I meant uh, <clears throat> me. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you so much, Taylor. But, you know, you and the others have a more important job, keeping our distinguished guest, Mr. Renfield, happy today. Let's not forget he's the one who's responsible for tonight's fundraising concert. Now, I'm sure he's going to be in very good hands and well taken care of today. So if you'll excuse me, I need to go figure out who put the rainbow trout in the reflecting pool. Excuse me. Have a lovely day, Papa. Uh, you... After we finish setting up, is there anything special you want to do? Yeah, scope out cute guys. Yes. <laughs> I think there's something kind of furry in here. Maybe it's a rat. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Never send a boy to do a man's job. So I don't like rats. Oh, what, that makes me a wuss? My 50-year wait is finally over. You've been looking for a sock for 50 years? Zip it. Inside this sock is a gift from my old music teacher, Professor Zimmer. He had it in here for the last surviving member of our class, which, luckily, turns out to be me. Zimmer was a genius. A senile old coot. This isn't the treasure. It's just a stupid clue about how to find it. Start at the center of campus? Okay, I'm in the center of school. Now what? It's five seconds to one. Five, four, three, two, one. and nothing's happening. All McBain is doing is casting a shadow. Shadow! shadow! With the aid of the sun, you'll find a rock exactly at one. How do you plan on getting under it? Oh, allow me to rephrase that question. How do you plan on getting under it? I can't tell you how long I've waited for this. waste of my time. It's nothing but a bunch of squiggly lines. Let me guess, another clue? Well, aren't you smarter than you look? <laughs> I'm late for rehearsal. Any of you brain surgeons want to volunteer to figure it out? Since pride and self-respect mean nothing to your generation, I appeal to your greed. Here's a hundred dollars for whoever finds the treasure. Yes, sir. We'll get right on it, sir. The 196, 197, 198, 199. 200. <laughs> Finally, the treasure must be in this log. McBain, you climb in at that end, and I'll look in here. Hurry! <laughs> The concert starts in 15 minutes. Don't treasure. I've got something. Uh, I think it's a treasure. Oh, no, my nose. Surprise, surprise. No treasure. Once again, you kids have messed up. And as soon as I get out of here and tell Miss Gilman... Wait a second. I'm stuck. 
Stop! McCabe, get over here. Pull me out. I would if I could, but I, I'm me. stuck too. <laughs> Sweetheart. Yes? Get help. Okay. okay. Miles Taylor, where is Mr. Renfield? He's, well, you know how it is. He's, He's disgusted with your school. I hacked my way out of a rotting log. Wrestle with a demented skunk and dog paddle through a, a mud swamp with these two idiots. Just so I could tell you in person, Miss Gilman, you can forget about my donation to this insane asylum. You get nothing. And if this is the way you let your children behave at this academy, you can forget about my donation too. Please, everyone, get it! We found the treasure! Well, we would have been here sooner, but we had to walk through some wet grass. Sounds like you had a real rough day. That's the treasure Professor Zimmer left behind. The moment I've waited all these years for. Coming back to Middlefield to collect my... Kazoo! <laughs> I put you in charge of a simple task, and look what you've done. I am severely disappointed in each and every one of you. Excuse me, Miss Gilman. I think everyone should hear this. Grandpa? Yes, to the joy and songs we once knew. Gone forever except for you. Cherish the old, embrace the new. Remember, you were once young, too. <laughs> Sounds like your teacher was a very smart man. Yes, he was. He knew that it was important to remember the connection between making music and having fun. I've always had the music. But somewhere along the way, I... I seem to have forgotten the fun. And this day, trying at times, has been fun. <laughs> I owe you kids a debt of gratitude. To Reese and Malloy, I owe this. Yes, a new bike. Yes. No, thank you. And I know just what to do with it. On behalf of us, please accept this as our donation. Thank you. I appreciate this. We're not going to raise as much money tonight as we had thought. You're absolutely right. You're going to raise more. Put me down for ten thousand dollars. Cough up the cash, Phyllis. The matching earrings can wait. You got it, Churn. <laughs> and a girl, Phyllis. And see that he gets nothing. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mr. Renfield. It's all right, dear boy. I was once a young man myself. Uh, do me a favor. Oh. <laughs> Step away You're from right. my granddaughter. <laughs> well, thanks for everything. And remember, if any of you ever come to New York, please let me know. All right. Cool. I'll be on the first plane to Algiers. <laughs> I almost forgot the most important thing. Why are you giving the kazoo to us? It means so much to you. I believe it means something to all of us now. I want you kids to have it under one condition. Name it. When you all graduate, hide the kazoo somewhere on campus. And if any of you ever forget, Come back and let it remind you of all of the fun life has to offer. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you learn how to do that? Remember, I was a student at Middlefield. Bye. Bye. I'll call you later. Actually, you can call me now. Hey!